everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your new shot. A lot of people out there that follow biblical prophecy, I'm sure this won't be a surprise to you. Maybe it's not a surprise to many people out there, but um, what's interesting is how much we've learned recently and how solar activity affects our environment. And what we're coming to find out is a lot of the things that they attribute to man, bear, pig and um, uh, cow farts and tailpipes really has to do more with the sun and the way the solar cycle is and how it affects planet Earth than pollution. The Guardian says upsurge in big earthquakes predicted for 2018 is Earth's rotation slows. A lot of people look at this headline and they're probably like, wow. It's not as catastrophic as you might think because the earth goes through cycles much like humans go through cycles, much like the sun goes through cycles, much like our galaxy, the universe, so on and so forth. Existence, if you will, is cyclical in nature. But scientists have warned there could be a big increase in numbers of devastating earthquakes around the world next year, specifically next year. See, this is one of the first times where we've actually been able to predict possibly the earthquake activity and where it might be located depending on how the earth slows and where it is. These computer models and these AIs, these AI um, engines can now, and algorithms can really dig deep into the data and actually extrapolate a lot of this and make some pretty accurate predictions. They believe variations in the speed of the earth's rotation could trigger intense seismic activity, particularly in the heavily populated tropical regions. They say all those such fluctuations in rotation are small, changing the length of the, of the day by a mere millisecond. They could still be implicated in the release of vast amounts of underground energy. They say the link between Earth's rotation and seismic activity was highlighted last month in a paper by Roger Billum of the University of Colorado in Boulder and Rebecca Bendick of the University of Montana in Missoula. They presented at the annual meeting of the Geological Society of America. They said the correlation between Earth's rotation and earthquake activity is strong and suggests that there's going to be an increase in numbers of intense earthquakes next year. Now, in the study, Billum and Bendick looked at earthquakes of magnitude 7 and greater that occurred since 1900. They say major earthquakes have been well recorded for more than a century that gives them a good look and a good record. They found five periods where there have been significantly higher numbers of earthquakes, large ones, compared with other times. And in those periods, they say... There were between 25 to 30 intense earthquakes a year. The rest of the time averaged about 15. And again, what controls our rotation? Solar activity. As the sun weakens, which it's doing right now, it's in its minimal phase. And I mean minimal. When you talk about this thing not being active, the sun ain't being active at all. And it's causing cyclical fluctuations in our the speed of our rotation and so as it slows so does you know the effects on our planet it affects everything from temperature it affects earthquake activities volcanic activity all sorts of stuff a mere millisecond slow uh slower rotation now is that the only thing doing it no i mean i'm sure that you know the uh type of radiation, the solar radiation that we're hit with, you know, the fact that our magnetic field is weaker, all plays a role. You know, these things happen, but certainly interesting that scientists are now predicting 2018 is going to be a very uh, active year as far as earthquakes are concerned, especially if you live in the tropics, in that zone. If I was in the ring of fire, you know, I'd make sure that I have preparations made to be able to weather any sort of storm. Most of these countries out there have architecture and architectural standards um, that really help things. However, San Andreas actually qualifies to be in that region. It's been showing signs of activity. Could 2018 usher in that release that they're looking at? You know, Could this lead to Yellowstone? becoming more active only time will tell folks very interesting times for 2018 ahead 
I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Hashtag wake the flock up. Have a great day, everybody. 